Well, it's the last day of the challenge of October. Let's uh, finish off strong. Hey everybody, what's up? Hola, como estas? Ni hao, hi, hello, welcome in, previet, bonjour, konnichiwa. Uh, what's going down? Captain Hook 5150 here, and I'm back with the end of October's Hardcore Challenge. I'm actually looking forward to November's. So, the sooner we get done with this one, I'm fine with it. Um, I've the, the villagers are not working with me, and I'm getting a little frustrated with them. At least these particular villagers. Because um, I have a feeling we'll be dealing with villagers again really soon. Um, but at least these villagers, I'm, I'm about done with. So, what I'm going to try and do quickly, if I can, is I'm just going to make a little shanty. And um, make some stairs so that they can come out of the dungeon. If... What they want to do once they they have the ability to come out from downstairs, that's up to them. I don't care anymore. I'm done with them. I've I've tried to help them. I've tried to give them new life, and they they just sit there and go eh. Okay, so it is Monday. Another weekend flew by. I don't know about you guys, but it mine just just went incredibly fast as it typically does um you know what i don't know which way because they're not going to want to come up the stairs so let's try and make it so that they come out um shoot i don't know which way is the this way so We'll go that way. And I'm just going to guess at the coordinates here. We'll try and make them come out to be like right around here. Sure. I'm just gonna put a little a little home. I want to build the home here before it gets to be nighttime because well I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to make it to the end of this, this, oops, um, this day. I got a bad feeling, I got some bad feeling, bad feelings going on about my ability to survive the entirety of this challenge this month. Looks like I may have to go a little slightly, slightly over. That's alright. They don't need that big of a place. There's only two of them. Since God bless America. Since they're not uh, going forth and becoming fruitful. Do I have a... I don't. Let's make a crafting table quick. So that I may make a door... And I forget that that gives us three doors automatically. So that's cool. I'll put a door down. Because I'm nice. I'm nice like that. So the... Um, I don't think I mentioned this in Friday's episode. But the, uh, the hockey teams were picked. I don't even know if I mentioned that they were having tryouts and stuff. So my son is, is on the the B team again this year. He's never been on the A team because of well, he's a goalie so it's kind of different with goalies. I mean you can only have I think you can only dress three goalies to begin with, but there's not as many kids interested in becoming goalie because it's just not a I don't, it's not a very glamorous position, and you get blamed for, well, when you lose, it's your fault, 
and <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's the nature of the position. So no, usually a lot of kids don't want to do that. A lot of kids want to be the scorer, you know, the one that, that gets the goals and stuff, which I understand. I mean, I, I really would do if I was, if I was playing. But um, so the there were two goalies or two other goalies. There was three total, if I can speak, um, goalies that were trying out, and so the the A team has one goalie, and then the B team has two goalies. Now last year. The A team had two goalies, and uh, my son was the only goalie on the, on the B team. So this year they decided to do do it a little bit different, I guess. Which is I don't care, it's fine. The I wouldn't want to have to have chosen who I don't want to make this sound like like it was an unfair process because I don't think it is. Um, I think that the uh, between my son and the goalie that's on the A team, they're pretty, pretty even. Um, the goalie on the A team is a little bit is he's faster, so, which I think is why he's on the A team, which is fine. Um, so that's cool. He's uh, my son's happy with, with the uh, the teammates. I was surprised of some of the kids that were chosen to be on the B team instead of the A team and I'm sure they were surprised too <laughs> I know some of their parents were um, but it should be should be a fun fun year I'm hoping that everybody kind of chills out a little bit because usually this time of the year there's always some tension about why why wasn't my kid on A team or why is my kid on the B team or, or any of that it's just you know none of these kids are going to go to the NHL Chances are, I don't want to say never because I guess it is a possibility, but chances are that's not going to happen. So let's just try and be adults about this whole process and be happy for the kids that are on the A team, be happy for the kids that are on the B team. And let's just be adults for the parents. Kids can be kids. As long as the kids on the A team aren't, saying you know that they're they're I don't like it when people say that they're they're better than other people that bothers me and honestly that used to be an issue especially with this one girl but she is no longer playing with the team she moved uh she's playing with a, a t team from another city now so I think that's probably a wise idea 4373 so basically 4340 40 and I didn't look to see I looked at the wrong number so we're basically at 40 and why don't I just go in the house so thirty. all right 39 and 680 can I remember that can I get out 39 and 680 <laughs> so it's that's kind of a weird way for me to start today's video and I don't want to sound like it was it's a rant or not. I just I'm a little disappointed that some adults can't be more grown up about this whole thing. And I think that can make things more difficult on the kids. And I mean it's it's just hockey. In the grand scheme of things, hey, what why are you when did you? Uh. Uh. Really? Both Both the villagers are dead now? Well, ain't that a kick in the pants? Just 
just about ready to say something else. Well, this sucks. Okay. Well, then. Um, I would really like to know how that happened. And where's my other villager? <sighs> well, that that was uh, un unexpected. So I suppose I don't know. Let's make some bread. Let's eat. Huh. That's unfortunate. You know what? Let's. There was another igloo. Let's. I don't remember what the coordinates were. And I'm doing this on the fly. I, I wasn't expecting that to be an issue. So, um, let's. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Um. So that's, that's going to uh, do it for this month's hardcore challenge. Uh, that was an interesting way to to end it. Um, definitely not how I I thought that this month was going to end. Um, <laughs> so, all right, I will see you guys on Friday for November or uh, November's hardcore judge. Was I saying November earlier? I think I was saying November earlier. And why can't I see? This does not look like Spawn. I don't know. Okay, we'll see you on Friday. Have a good week. Uh, be safe trick-or-treating. And talk to you guys later. Peace. <laughs>